person that is derivation or derivation uh noun to verb this is also we, we are still working in the first method that is derivation noun to verb formation that is glory is noun glorify is verb or moral is noun moralize is verb so we know that verbs are action words action words so glorification glorify is a verb glory is noun similarly moral is noun moralizing there is also called as demoralizing that's a different aspect but let us not get it, get get into that so moralize is verb moral is noun similarly glory is noun glorify is a is a verb all right shall i go to the next slide with your permission everybody yes sir thank yes, you sir thank you so uh you have also something called as adjective to noun that means all that we are trying to do here is we are converting one part of speech into another part of speech that is from adjective to noun is what we are converting for example sad is adjective sadness is noun capital is adjective capitalism is noun free is adjective freedom is noun liberty independence whenever i think about the word freedom i remind myself about other two connective connecting words that is liberty or independence please make a note freedom synonyms are liberty independence so a person is sad that is adjective sadness uh, sadness is we, we dislike sadness no one likes sadness do you like sadness anybody in the class or do you like do you do you like to be joyful all the time which one do you like sadness or being joyful both you like both eh yes sir okay maybe you like both but generally people don't like sadness people like joyfulness yes sir happiness yes, sir. rather happiness yes. yes sir no no one likes to be crying all the time no one likes to be you know spoiling his or her mood by crying all the time right yeah okay. exactly so similarly a capital is adjective capitalism is noun capital capitalist a person who is a capitalist is who can invest money who can start a business is a capitalist and people work under such capitalists right let us go to the next uh, slides verb to adjective verb is act adjective active verb is walk i'm giving as many examples as possible as many examples as you know uh, as possible so that you can understand it in a better way so that you can write all these examples in the examination and get very good marks walk is verb adjective so we are suffixing a b l e walkable similarly act is verb actor acts uh, suffix i v e is what we are suffixing under the process of affixation so we are calling it as active active opposite is passive so whenever you think about the word also think about the uh, opposite word whenever you think about the word also think about the synonyms whenever you think about the word think about which part of speech it is this is one technique of developing word power or one taking te technique of developing your knowledge of word bank right now similarly drink plus able drink is verb uh, able is suffix drinkable drinkable right drinkable water meaning pot water is what we call meaning water that can be consumed consumed <clears throat> right let me take you to are you writing all these examples all of you yes, yes sir. sir yes right. sir shall i go to the next slide with your permission yes are you all following yes sir yes sir right i can hear to only a few voices how many participants do i have i have got 47 participants here my total class strength is 75 what has happened to the rest of them is it only civil people who are attending mechanical people mechanical students are not attending trisha is that true both mechan civil sir then why that the strength is very less very low our strength should be 70 or 75 if i am not wrong whereas the strength that i see here in the online class is only 47 why what is the reason can someone give me the reason anyways okay now adjective to verb that means 
modern modern me meaning latest modern is adjective verb is modernize modernize similarly terror adjective terrorize is a verb is a verb okay so you if you see here you see several suffixes here n e s s e r i r l y i m i s t so uh, you please draw this table also this is a very important table o r for person noun for example uh, for example investor investor okay doctor here actor that means act is verb by just suffixing o r you are making it a noun actor doctor hmm? investor person noun now abstract noun you, you you just look at abstract noun let me tell you the meaning of abstract noun abstract nouns are you can feel or experience that noun you cannot you can neither physically see that noun nor physically touch that that you know uh, thing please write down concrete noun abstract noun concrete noun for example person is a concrete noun you can see a person you can touch a person whereas abstract noun happiness is abstract noun you cannot see happiness physically you can see a person laughing or smiling but you cannot see happiness physically that is called abstract noun now a n c e is one such suffix that can be added to those words for example perform is is verb performance abstract noun performance performance of the actor performance of the teacher performance of the student okay you understand students whatever i am trying to say are you able to understand okay anyways yes sir okay 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 who is this uh, person saying yes sir yes sir all the time is it bunny by any chance sri ram sir sudendra sudendra okay 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 sri ram right 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 sir so a n c e i told you perform is verb performance is noun performance is noun so take that as an example now let me go to the next example a b a l e able able uh just now we have seen one verb walk walkable drink drinkable drink is verb drinkable is adjective walk is verb walkable is adjective is adjective so by suffixing a b l e we can you see we can make those words now n e s s n e s s abstract noun i have just now told you happy happy is happiness happiness okay sad sadness sadness okay so sad is adjective sadness is a noun sadness because that is a name abstract noun happy is adjective happiness is a noun so we are suffixing in ess there okay right now if you see this one er person noun what is this er for example drive drive is a verb driver is a noun ama tarvat tarvache tarvache drive is a verb driver is a noun similarly similarly dance is a verb dancer is a noun drive driver dance dancer okay now let me let me take you to the next adjective negative adjective ir ir that means we are prefixing if you observe this carefully we are prefixing not suffixing responsible okay that is an adjective irresponsible is negative adjective negative adjective so these are all the way words are formed words are formed ist person person noun plural so what is this one <laughs> plural how can we make words with this how can we make words with this person noun okay feminist for example feminist he is a feminist is what people say feminine feminine is adjective okay feminist is a noun 
now <clears throat> i am i am possible is adjective positive adjective negative adjective impossible prefix prefix here i am impossible l y manner i have told you all the words that are suffixed by l y are adverbs for example slowly okay uh, or for example we can also say uh, easily easily slowly frequently occasionally generally regularly casually usually beautifully beautifully exactly all, exactly sriram gada yes sir very good very good very good thank you sir right so these are the ways words are formed words are formed now shall we go to the next slide with your permission yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir please please pass the notes to those who did not who are not attending the classes regularly fine compounding what is the meaning of compounding compounding is the joining of two or more words into a single word so tomorrow we have this language lab so be ready for that 3 hours again we have to do it online you will not come to lab everything has to be done in the classroom itself so we will explain what what should be done in the in the you know 3 hours time so the same thing is what you should follow in the afternoon of course we have the theory class too uh, that however i will manage it myself most probably 3 hours we are trying to divide first person first hour second person second hour third person third hour that's how we are planning to divide it so let us see how it goes so compounding meaning compounding is the joining of two or more words into a single word the words are called compounds or compound words in linguistics compounds can be either native or borrowed so they, they these compounds can be native words or native meaning from the same english language borrowed meaning from other languages like latin greek and other languages so did you write the slides did you did you write take this slide shall i go to the next one yes sir right right so compounding is a combination of two or more free morphemes to make a new word that's the definition of compounding tomorrow in the examination if they ask you what is the definition of compounding this is the definition that you are supposed to write there compounding is a combination of two or more free morphemes to make a new word free morphemes german is particularly fond of compounding german meaning we are talking about german as a national as a citizen of germany german morpheme is uh, you know unit of a word morpheme is unit of a word smallest unit of a word is mark now compounding of words compounds may be open compounds hyphenated compounds closed compounds it can be anything so open compounds what are the examples police office or police station science fiction you see you you see a gap between one word and another word you see space between a space between one word and Uh, another word science fiction ice cream web page video game voice mail living group likewise this open compounds you see space between two words in that one compound word whereas when it comes to hyphenated compound hyphenated compound you see hyphens in the word for example mother in law get together close up high tech high rise all that now what is the plural of mother in law can someone tell me the plural of mother in law anybody can you tell me the plural plural form of mother in law faster quicker without wasting time trisha can you try konamoni trisha or sriram Say something. If you don't know, you say no, sir. I don't know. Otherwise, I'll I'll explain it myself. If you remain don't quiet, know, finish. That's okay. Leave it. If you are if you are quiet, what do I understand? Mother-in-law is the plural of mother-in-law. It is not mother-in-laws. That means yes is what you add to the root word here. 
mothers in law it is not mother in laws similarly fathers in law brothers in law sisters in law it is not sister in laws you understand what i say yes sir so get together close up high tech high rise right close compound what is this close compound <clears throat> cross roads underline race horse kind hearted 14 drug store if you see here you don't see any space between the words that are compounding cross roads is there any space in the word is there any space no, no. no. Under, underline one word race horse one word kind hearted one word 14 one word drug store one word therefore these words are known as close compounds so did you write all these words have you taken down all these yes, words sir. Yes, sir. yes sir right okay fine now next method of word formation is blending what is this what is this blending all about so blending is a type of word formation in which two or more words are merged into one so that the blended constituents are either clipped or partially overlap that means a word blend or portmanteau is a new word created by combining two separate words with different meanings these two words have two different meanings but they are blended into one word we will when we see the examples you will understand it in a better way let us go ahead and see the examples for that so blending is one of the many ways new words are made in english it is one of the many ways new words are made in english it refers to joining the beginning of one word and the end of another to make a new word with a new meaning it refers to joining the beginning of one word and the end of another to make a new word with a new meaning for example brunch breakfast is breakfast is a different word lunch is a different word breakfast is done during in the morning lunch is done in the afternoon now we are we are combining breakfast plus lunch we are blending breakfast plus lunch to make it brunch so brunch is a uh, food that you take at around 11 o'clock in the morning or 10:30 in the morning you don't take breakfast or you don't take lunch and this is solid food that you take at around 11 or 11:30 in the morning understand right now elect electrocute electrocute electrify and execute is electrocute electrify and execute is electrocute so electrification is one new word executing is another new word executing incorporation implementation is another word there is electrify electrification is illuminating electrifying a bulb illuminating a bulb so electrify plus execute will become electrocute similarly smoke plus fog will become smog transfer plus resistor will become transistor so that is the reason we are saying beginning of one word and the end of another to make a new word with a new meaning with a new meaning so this is these are all important methods of word formation you will definitely get a question from this in your uh, you know mid examination or semester end examination please make a note of these definitions examples very very carefully meticulously it is one of the many ways new words are made in english right <clears throat> just like motel motor plus hotel becomes motel motel is a roadside dhaba motor plus hotel is motel right shall i go to the next one i am going to the next one. trisha shall i go to the next slide yes sir. yes sir right so portman to portman to so we are saying just now i have given you this example motel motorway plus hotel a roadside hotel used for brief stays uh the rest of the examples you need not bother just take this example motel is sufficient these two are okay you need not bother about them so motor way hotel is motel meaning roadside hotel used for brief stays meaning a roadside dhaba in our in our typical language dhaba d h a b a dhaba is what we call motel m o t e l it is a typical blazing example of blending because we are taking motor 
M-O-T-O-R plus hotel. Two different words, right? With two different meanings. Now we are combining, blending them to make a new word with a new meaning. So that means we are talking about a roadside dhaba, which is used by motorists, which is used by two-wheeler uh, users or four-wheeler users uh, to, you know, briefly stop their bike or, uh, or car for some time, go have some dinner or lunch and come back and resume their journey. That's where this motels are, uh, that's how motel is defined or described. Okay, fine. <clears throat> now, the other method is called as acronym. What is this? Application form from initial letters of other words and pronouns. Acronym is an abbreviation formed from the initial letters of other words and pronouns. Acronym formed from the initial letter or letters of each of the successive parts or major parts of a compound terms, a word. Acronyms is an abbreviation formed from initial letters. Right? Let us, let us see what, what are the examples of these acronyms. Abbreviation formed from the initial letters of other words and pronouns. Uh, it is formed from the initial letter or letters of each of the successive parts or major parts of a compound terms, a word, right? Let, let us go and see more examples about these acronyms. Shall I take you to the next slide? Yes, sir. Right. The, the time is already 5 to 11. I think our class is till 11.10. So I'll go on till that time. Now, these are all acronyms. ECE, Electronics and Communication Engineering. Even CE for that matter, civil engineering, or ME, mechanical engineering. These are all acronyms. So NASA, National Aeronautical Space Administration, or United Nations Organization, United States of America, All India Council for Technical Education, ISRO, ISRO Indian Space Research Organization. These are all acronyms. These are all acronyms. That means we, have, we take the first letter of that word. From, from institute, we take I. From Aero, we take A. From sir, JNTU. Yeah, JNTU. Jahar sir, DRDO, sir. Any one of this, any one of this. Right, any one of these examples. I think uh, I will take you to the next. So loan words. Loan words is another method. What is this? What are these loan words? Loan words are words adopted by the speakers of one language from a different language, the source language. A loan word can also be called a borrowing. The, the abstract noun borrowing refers to the process of speakers adopting words from a source language into their native language. So what is this all about? Uh, let, that means we borrow words from other foreign languages to use them in our native language. Let us, let us see what it is all about. Now, loan translation is a word or a phrase borrowed from another language by literal word for word or root for root translation. It means to borrow a word or phrase from another language. For example, we have these words. I'm, I'm, I've increased the size of it also for your easy understanding. We have this bit. We had this bit in a set examination, state eligibility test. This exam is conducted for professorship or lectureship. Uh, by the state governments and central governments, by the UGC, the University Grant Commission. Now, alcohol is a word that has come from the, from the language Arabic. Algebra is a word that has come from Arabic. So the source language is Arabic, whereas we are using it in English. You understand? This is called as loaned words, loaned words. Chinese, of course, uh, you don't understand those words. That's a different aspect. Now, Greek, if you see Greek here, or German also. Kindergarten is a word that we have taken from German. You see, kindergarten. For example, French, fiancé, fiancé, French, resume, French, village, French, restaurant. It is not restaurant as you pronounce in Telugu, restaurant. We, it is borrowed, it is, it is a word that is loaned from French. 
cliche cliche is an overused expression that has lost its freshness cliche meaning this the, the way we pronounce this word c l i c h e is cliche it is not click cliche cliche what is the meaning of that an overused expression that has lost its freshness because you have used it several times because you because you have used it you have used it too much it has lost its freshness that's called as a cliche jargon verbosity heavily loaded with words this is all the same meaning so german kindergarten greek uh what's the telephone mathematics you see interesting word mathematics is a word that has come from greek greek language chaos it has come from greek language so that's how we borrow word from the languages loan translation is a word or phrase borrowed from another language literally word for word or root for root translation it means to borrow a word or phrase from another language have you have you written all these examples don't write everything here whatever i have explained you write down in this picture sir written shall i go to the next slide shall i go to the next slide yes sir yes sir right. if you don't understand please ask me if you are quiet i don't know whether sir, you are following sir wait yes. for 2 minutes sir wait for 2 minutes sir we are writing the examples please please who said that triple one what's your name triple one in where are you kushal sir kushal sir kushal sir but the sense undala when i ask you who said that you should tell me your name triple one ante endu when a james bond 007 ah endo em janu okay right <laughs> Shall I go? Shall I move? Kushal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you see, these are also other examples, loaned words that are taken from other languages. For example, Italian, Italy. Scenario is one word that is taken from Italy. Lingua franca, piano. okay only take one or two words familiar words you take don't take everything for example take piano or take scenario that is taken from italy similarly japanese you have got words such as tsunami don't take this word karaoke you can take it but not necessary tsunami su meaning harbor nami meaning wave harbor wave is called as tsunami harbor wave t s u su meaning harbor n a m i nami meaning wave harbor wave is called as tsunami that is taken from japanese okay now you see portuguese from portuguese we have taken the word banana vodka of course cosmonaut vodka this vodka is a very common word nowadays so that is taken from russia we all know that it is a russian uh, alcohol actually okay now spanish we have taken words such as mosquito guerrilla guerrilla mosquito we have taken from that is loaned from the uh, source language spanish right see you can see them here also cafe is french entrepreneur french okay kindergarten german plaza spanish there are so many examples given you take one or two don't take all oh, everything that is written there in the slide otherwise you will get confused there in the examination take one or two and write it correctly write uh, the source language correctly and uh, you know if you know the meaning of the word you can also write the meaning of the word for example for tsunami i have told you the meaning just now su meaning harbor nami meaning wave you can also write the meaning there don't write everything don't confuse yourself and don't confuse the examiner examiner in the examination understand yes sir right now the next method of word formation is neologism neo neo meaning new logos meaning word 
the word neologism is derived from the greek words neo means new and logos means word a word derived from neologism is a relatively recent or isolated term word or phrase that may be in the process of entering common use that means it's a fresh word that is ident that is invented actually uh, isolated term that can be or that may be in the process of entering common use when you see the examples you will you will understand more about neologism let us go and see those examples neologism is defined as a new word or a new use for an old word or the act of making up new words examples common word that we know about common word that we know is seminar workshops training programs conferences seminars webinar is it has come from the new world web world wide web www world wide web so a seminar that is conducted online not offline is called as webinar a seminar that is conducted online is a webinar you see for web seminar webinar is a web seminar conducted online cyber space feminist so these are all new words freelance writers similarly uh, for neologism new words there are several new words that are that, that have come up these days can someone give me new words that you have come across for example recently i have seen the words web worms we know book worms but nowadays a very famous word is web worm w e b w o r m web worm web worm meaning people who spend most of their time on social media people who spend most of their time on internet or you know world wide web are known as web worms we know book worms sir denizen huh yeah denizen denizen who is a denizen who is a denizen a denizen is a citizen yes or no Huh? Right. Any other new word that you have come across these days? A recent or newly coined word, not yet fully accepted into mainstream use. That is called new, 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 logos word. Hey, who is that? Please switch off your microphone. <laughs> switch off your microphone. Ever ready? Right. so <clears throat> this is your take away in this presentation i think this is the last slide as well. yeah your take away is this so we have seen what is vocabulary what is the meaning of vocabulary all the words that a person know is vocabulary all the words that a person uses in his spoken or written form is vocabulary for reading purposes for listening purposes for writing purposes or for or for speaking purposes that is vocabulary word bank or word power so there are different methods of word formation and there are six methods of word formation derivation neologism compounding loaned words blending acronyms so this this is the process of or this is the method of word formation this is all about you know uh, word formation which is very which is one of the important topics of your english syllabus i am completing it as early as possible so that you can prepare yourself with the help of question bank that is given to you with the help of lecture notes that is that is given to you i have already posted several videos in uh, i have sent it to trisha forward it to all of them yes sir trisha yes sir have you forwarded all those videos to everybody yes sir in group i have forwarded sir okay create a common group add me in that group also. don't forget that already added sir already added huh? what is the name of the group my can civil group did you create the group yes sir when did you create morning only sir okay okay fine fine i I'll, i'll check that group now now uh, you know how many students are present please post this numbers also there we have got 46 participants here right yes, sir. so i uh, what i'm trying to tell you repeatedly is please register yourself very soon especially mechanical students because unless all the students register themselves we cannot post the attendance 
civil most of them have registered but still mechanical some of them are still pending that's the reason we are not able to post the attendance regularly the sooner you register yourself the sooner we will be able to post the attendance regularly and uh, trisha please post these numbers in the group so that i can take them according to the dates okay, all right sir. thank you very much uh, now the time is almost 11:10 right any doubts that you have you are welcome to ask me we still have time so i don't want to close it before the time any doubts that you have anybody in the classroom anything it need not be related to only word formation or communication skills or listening or anything that you can ask so smog and tent sir smog s m o g okay smoke plus fog is called as smog smoke undi kada smoke uh smoke plus fog what is the difference between smoke and fog fog is what you see early in the morning yes or no fog is what you see early in the morning fog and generally you see that in winter season uh that is fog in pure telugu you call it as pogamanchu ha uh, okay yes yeah smog is that smog is that smoke plus fog is smog that means you see fog is manchu smoke is poga poga manchu smog ha uh, okay sir i am translating it into pure telugu so that you can understand it easily ha ippudu ardham sir adi adi ippudu ardham ayyadu endukante manam telugu medium background kada manaku telugu cheptu tappu manaku ardham kadu kada atla ga sir inta mundu kuda ardham ayyane anta clear ga ardham kale a ah, smoke plus fog smoke ante poga fog manchu poga manchu smog it is just you understand it very nicely uh, for example people like atar are there in the group they will say sir what is this suddenly you use telugu in the class how can i how can i follow it is atar there in the group ardham ayyadu sir english mari raadan ga sir asadu adi kaagote difficult words konni telli ante adhe adhe naaku ardham ayyadu that's the reason i have translated that into telugu for your convenience thank you sir okay? right 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 is attar there in the group attar adip are you there in the group yes sir no class adip is there sir attar no attar is not there sir adip is not there sir right right fine 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 okay. sir yes 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 good morning sir sir yesterday and today i have missed your class because i am facing your power issues okay So, so what shall you, I do? Like, uh, could you explain me very briefly yesterday's topic and today's? Topic? Oh my God! Explain briefly yesterday's topic and today's topic. Is that possible to do that in two minutes? That is, it is almost eleven ten. Okay. Anyways, I will try my best. I have explained yesterday what is the meaning of vocabulary. The meaning of vocabulary is all the words that a person knows and uses in his skill development. For example, listening, speaking, reading, writing is vocabulary. it is also known as word power or word word power or vocabulary word skills now we have learned different methods of word formation neelante kosame because people like you will be there i i always give you this last slide that is your take away these are the things that we discussed yesterday and today word formation how many methods of word formation do you see here what is your name srijana who did not attend the class yes yeah, sir yeah many okay okay fine you see these are the methods of word formation that we discussed yesterday and today that is number one six methods of word formation derivation neologism loan words acronym blending compounding derivation best method of fixation prefix suffix comfort discomfort is prefix comfortable is suffix that means before the word discomfort after the word comfortable suffix neologism new word web worm webinar neologism loan words for example Uh, alcohol arabic loan word acronyms iare example blending breakfast plus lunch brunch blending compounding compounding you have got again three types of compounding and what are they closed compounding hyphenated compounding and open compounding for example police station is open compounding hyphenated compounding mother in law hyphenated compounding closed compounding for example underline closed compound there is no space in between so these are the methods that i have discussed yesterday and today definition of word formation that is the reason i have posted that video for those who have missed the class i have posted that video word formation shall i show it to you now also so it was there so 
हेलो सुनील सर आर एबल टू हियर मी सर मैम वी आर एबल टू हियर यू माय स्टूडेंट्स यस मैम वी आर एबल टू हियर यू ओके 